Welcome to SAG Infotech Brief Demo about GenCodex, an advanced software platform designed to simplify drag and drop. Experience how GenCodex empowers precision, speed, and accuracy in development. New form creation using GenCodex drag drop controls here. Start by selecting and dropping a page container serving as the foundational layout for the form. From there, you have flexibility to add rows and columns directly from the toolbox to organize form structure. Incorporate variety of inbuilt controls, and there's also an option to add headings to define different sections. Once layout set up, easily create input fields and customize by modifying the label names to suit your requirements. Form type, group binding, and table creation. Now let's explore the process of form type, group binding, and table creation in detail. With the intuitive interface of GenCodex, you can seamlessly manage each step without hassle. To begin with, form types categorize your forms based on their purpose or structure, making it easier to organize your projects. If your form contains fields for customer details, such as names, emails, or phone numbers, you can easily map each of these fields to corresponding columns in your database table. You can specify all the relevant details like data types, constraints, and default values while creating the table mapping. This step is crucial to maintaining data integrity and ensuring that your database behaves as expected. Once all your fields are mapped and configured, with just a few clicks, you can generate the actual table in the database. What makes this process so powerful is how GenCodex minimizes complexity. You don't need to write complex SQL scripts or worry about syntax. Everything is done through an intuitive visual interface. This saves you time and reduces the risk of errors, allowing you to focus on the bigger picture, delivering efficient and reliable solutions. By following these steps, you can quickly build well-structured forms, bind them to groups, and generate accurate database tables that are ready to store your data. It's a streamlined approach that brings speed, accuracy, and ease to your form and table creation tasks. Form mapping with database table and API generation now, let's dive into the exciting process of form mapping with a database table and generating APIs. This step is crucial because it bridges the gap between your front-end forms and back-end database. We begin by setting up the database and selecting the appropriate table where the data will be stored. Think of this table as the storage hub for all the information collected through your form. Next comes the mapping process. Here, each field in your form gets linked to a corresponding column in the database table. This ensures that when users submit data, it lands exactly where it should in the database. Accurate mapping helps maintain data integrity and ensures seamless communication between the form and the database. Once the mapping is complete, we move on to the core part API generation. By configuring the settings, you can quickly generate APIs that will allow different systems or applications to interact with your database. Creating request object for save now, let's walk through the process of creating a request object for saving data. This is a crucial step to ensure that your form data is properly processed and stored. First, you'll need to create the post data, which represents the information you want to send to the server. This post data acts as the payload, containing all the fields and values collected from the form. Once your post data is ready, you can move on to creating action buttons like save. These buttons provide the user with an intuitive way to submit their data. To give this functionality real power, you'll need to link it to a request object. For that, head into the service file, where all your API-related functions are managed. Within the service file, you LL find a list of APIs that have been generated or set up earlier. From this list, carefully select the specific API that matches your requirement. This step ensures that the data gets routed to the right endpoint for processing. By doing this, the save button becomes dynamic, triggering the request object to send the post data to the server. Show data in grid table now, let's look at how to display data in a grid table effectively. 
After completing the initial steps, we start by inputting the relevant name and saving the mapping. This action stores the configuration in the service file, making it ready for future data operations. Once that's done, we move on to the next key step, selecting the generate option to finalize the details and ensure everything is set up correctly. To retrieve the data from the database table, we use the get all API. This API fetches all the entries stored in the table, making sure no data is left behind. It's an essential step for pulling the latest data, especially if your database is constantly being updated. Now comes the part where we display this data in a grid. Think of the grid as a visual representation of your database records. Show data on form for modify and view now. Let's explore how to modify and view data directly on the form. This process is essential for updating records and ensuring your application stays dynamic and user-friendly. To begin, we use the GetBide API to fetch specific data. Unlike the Get All API, which retrieves all records, GetBide allows you to target and pull a single entry based on its unique identifier, such as an ID number. This precision ensures you're working with the exact record you need. Once the data is fetched, the next step is binding it to the form. This means each field in your form is automatically populated with the corresponding values from the database. For example, if you are modifying a customer record, fields like name, email, and phone number will display the existing information. This binding process saves you the trouble of manually entering or verifying each piece of data. Apply validation on form now. Let's talk about the importance of applying validation to your form fields. This step is crucial for maintaining data quality and preventing common user errors. To set up validation, we start by selecting the specific field we want to validate, for example, a PAN number field or an email field. Once the field is chosen, we can access the validation list, which offers a variety of rules to ensure the data entered meets the required criteria. For instance, if we are validating a PAN number, we can set rules for the exact length and format required ensuring users can't input incomplete or incorrect information. Similarly, for fields like email addresses, run application and test form now that we've completed building the project, it's time to bring everything together and see it in action. Running a Java or Angular project is the final step to ensure that all the components are functioning as expected. To do this, we compile the code and start the application server. This process takes everything we've configured, the forms, the database mappings, APIs, and validations, and deploys it so we can interact with the live application. Once the application is up and running, you'll be able to see your final data entry form in action. This is the moment where all the hard work pays off. As you interact with the form, test each component carefully. Try entering data, check if the validations are firing as expected, and see if the save button properly submits the data to the database. Use the Get All API to verify if the data is being retrieved and displayed in the grid correctly. It's also a good idea to test different scenarios, like modifying records, checking for error messages, or interacting with the form on various devices and browsers. Add feature, AI document import on form. Let's talk about an exciting and powerful feature, AI document import on your form. This tool takes data entry automation to the next level by incorporating artificial intelligence into your workflow. Here's how it works. AI APIs are integrated and bind seamlessly with the form, making the process effortless and intelligent. Imagine a scenario where a client needs to fill out a detailed form, but instead of manually typing all the information, they simply drag and drop an image or a PDF file containing the relevant data. The AI document import feature kicks in immediately, analyzing the uploaded document with advanced scanning and recognition technology. The AI reads the text, extracts the required details, and automatically populates the corresponding fields in the form. For instance, if the document is an image of a government ID or a PDF of a filled-out application, 
the AI will pull out details like name, date of birth, address, and identification numbers with remarkable accuracy. Finally, here you can see all the source codes, precisely crafted and driven by the coding. This coding is significant as it underpins the overall execution of the program. Each line of code plays a crucial role in ensuring the program runs smoothly and efficiently. The seamless integration of these codes highlights the importance of precision and attention to detail in programming. So here we have finally concluded the working as well as decoded some of the fine features of GenCodex software. Thank you.